what about your email structure? So when you look at that first email, you have a structure behind it. You want to give us sort of the kind of framework behind that, how you think about writing the email. And if you could, you know what, Plato, especially because you wrote the first cold emails, it sounds like that they, that they sent how, what, what kind of thinking and all that kind of stuff went behind it. Yeah. So I, and I'm not going to say my framework's like revolutionary. I think a lot of the people like content creators or people on LinkedIn generally have so, uh, something quite similar. And then maybe we just word things a little bit differently, but really for me, it's, it's four, it's a four sentence email. The first sentence is a trigger uh, or context as to why you're reaching out. Uh, so for example, for us at Plato, so we're uh, again, a mentorship platform for engineering and product teams. So we match their like engineering leadership with a mentor that's one or two steps uh, ahead of them. So our trigger that's working really well for us right now, which also ties into the subject line is, Hey, Jason, I noticed you're building your engineering team around X and Y. And what we'll do is we'll go find two directors or engineering managers on their team and call them out by name. So that's our trigger. Or another trigger that we might use is like going on their uh, LinkedIn jobs or on their website. It's like, notice that you're hiring three engineering managers. That's, that's another good trigger. Uh, second sentence is uh, highlighting the, like, uh, the problem with the current state and kind of starting to provoke the cost of inaction a little bit. Um, so it's like, what's the problem with like, you know, hiring new managers, um, and how do you tie that to like how Plato and mentorship can help? So it's like, one thing I can say is, you know, speaking with a lot of heads of engineering, um, and, and, and teams that are growing fast, they tend to have very junior engineering managers, um, and corporate training, generally speaking is, is inadequate when, when we speak with them. So that's kind of framing the problem as to like, okay, you have new engineering managers coming through or you're um, promoting people that are, are relatively junior uh, in the management sphere. And then sentence three is uh, highlighting what the future is going to look like the future state with Play-Doh. Um, So that was just like a simple one sentence pitch on, on, on what you're doing. But in that sentence, I actually like to stay away from any type of like ROI or like using crazy percentage numbers or, or, or something that really sounds not believable. I like to tell a bit more of like a, a story. So this is a good time to use like a specific uh, case study or one sentence around like how you've helped a specific customer uh, in the past. And then finish off uh, fourth sentence, uh, interest-based CTA, which could be something as would you be opposed to learning more.